Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the start of my January haul. I forgot I was going to say November. Um, I am only doing one haul clip this month. Um, I want to say I haven't been buying stickers, but like I haven't been buying stickers. So here we are. I'm just going to get right into it. So first I'm going to get into like the printables I have. Um, so first I have Teddy Plains Co. This is not everything that I ordered. I did order like custom family. Let me zoom in. Custom family from Teddy Plains Co. For like the Valentine's Day family ones. Um, but these were just extra. And I did size them down. This one is pretty good sized. And it's on my vinyl paper. So. Um. And just like a girl driving and I kind of felt like I don't know excited that I could drive again and they are only like dark brown hair I do have black hair but it's whatever and then this one's like a shower girl and she's really big even though I sized her down um so this is whatever I have so many shower characters that like I don't know why but I do so there we are and then this is another printable um and this is called hold me I can't it's from print pink planner shop um which I did print on my vinyl paper I am going to flip through it um, I've never actually used a kit, a printable kit on my vinyl paper, and I'm using this in February, so I'm excited for that. And my paper does take, like, um, like, permanent Sharpie marker, like the skinny Sharpie. So it'll be interesting to use that. I'm pretty sure I did not print one sheet out of the printable thing. So um, I am missing some parts of this kit, but I wouldn't use them. So that's why. But that is this art. Obviously, I do have the art in Scribble Prints Co. Um, but I just wanted more kits with this art. All right, next I have an order from Moonlight Paper Co. It comes with, like, this card. Um, I've never ordered from her before, but here we are. I think this was, like, on super sale, so I just grabbed it to try it out. Um, so this is, like, the little freebie. This is Pink Hearts, which is really cute. And then we have a Nicole Hutch Designs freebie. Which again is really cute. And then the Moonlight Paper Co. This is on glossy paper. Another freebie. Nice. And then this is like the foil bundle that I picked up. This is in, I think, the blue hollow. Sparkly hollow, maybe? Um, I did order this back in December and I just got it early January and obviously all my January kits are planned out so I don't know if I will be using this this year um, just because I don't think it goes with any of the kits that I have but I have it so these are like the bougie boxes looks like header overlays too I really can't tell Yeah, these are header overlays at the bottom. And then these are like full box overlays and more header overlays. Oh, there's two sheets of those. I have not gone through this order. Obviously, since I got it, everything was still packaged. Um, here are a bunch of scripts, which are really, they're like good sized. Which is great. And then icons. I don't use icons. Really. Um... These are really cute little, like, airplanes, though. 
And then the bottom washi, date numbers, little deco bits, and... Oh, okay, there is a split there. I'm like, why is there two longer ones? But this is split. But... Oh, fry yay. That's so cute. Oh, it's extra. Okay, that's really cute. So, excited to use this. I might order another bundle sooner just to see if, you know because obviously I'm probably not gonna use this until next year, but I still wanna try out her foil bundle. So there's that. All right, and then next I have three orders from Planet Hannah. Um, I really don't remember what I ordered, so this should be interesting. I'll start with this one because I think this was the first order I placed. Um, so this is Bitch, love Bitch, love that. This is the freebie, well, one of the freebies. This was the December freebie. And then this is the, well, my freebie, but it's my old freebie, so I won't even talk about it. I don't know if I, okay, I do have some of my new freebie, so this was my old freebie. I'll tell you all the PR stuff when I get to the new freebie. Anyway, enough about that. And then I picked up Payday. I do have her Payday and Font one, but I think I might de-stash them because I can't really see them when I use them, if that makes sense. Like, I love this. I love Font 5, so. Um, I got the Payday and Font 5 in all four. And then I picked up The mermaid underlays in light purple and hollow. This is to use with the Ursula kit, which um, if you watched in my January kit lineup, I'm using it for a plan with me. And I did not know like what foil and stuff I was going with. So there's that. Oh. And then I LY BB in dark purple, but also I'm gonna have to look at my kits, obviously. I really suck at remembering things like this. And I do know that I ordered another set of these in purple, so I hope it's not for the same kit, but we will see. So that was order one. I'm gonna go into order two. I think it was this one. So this one says Darth Vader, love Darth Maul. That's our favorite, like, characters from Star Wars. I actually, as we're speaking, I literally just got another silhouette, as we're speaking, this day. I got another silhouette that is red and like the color is Empire Red. And I was like, there's no way I cannot name it after something that, like after Star Wars. So its name is Anakin. Anyway, this it's so cute. It's a frozen quote. Um, obviously from Olaf. This is the January freebie. And then this is my freebie for my new PR term. So if you use Carly 15 or put my name in the notes, you will get this freebie. I have like the heart overlays, um, or the heart full box overlay, the laundry and wine, uh, chat bubble, rose, and manicure. And then this is Emily's new freebie. Um, Emily and I have been constants on the team. I love her little guinea pig. Um, this is Julia from Foil and Lace. I think this is the first time I've gotten their freebies too, actually. Um, this is Play With Shannon. This one is Shay Loves to Read, so Shay. And then this one is Dandy Plans, which is Stephanie. And this is like the, um, one of the, the Advent exclusive foils. So it'd be cool to like match up with that. 
All right, and then into my thick-ish underlay oil order. Underlay order. Why did I buy that? Okay, we'll get to it. So I have bubbles in gold hollow and light pink. I wish I could tell you what for, but I literally have no idea. So I guess if you want to know, just watch my kit lineups and you'll see. And then I have this wildflowers in red. Again, I have no freaking idea why I bought that. Um, astronomy in pink and hollow. I know that I did look at my kit lineup though for these. Um, like while matching these, so I have no idea. Like if I looked at my kit lineup, I'm sure I'll figure it out, but yeah. Um, I have plaid, which is just black. And then I do have the ILY BB in dark purple again, like I said. I have multiple kits I can use that for, so it's really not a big deal. But then I have botanical one in like dark green and uh, light pink. So I think I do know this is like a self-care kit I'm using these with. But yeah, anyway. That is my stack of underlays. And then my last order. This is Bestie. Love Bestie. Love that. And then we have um, my freebie in the one of the Advent exclusive foils. Emily's. Julia's in the Blue Hollow. Shannon's. Shay's. And Stephanie's. And then this is actually the January which was at the end but I I don't think I actually ordered this I think maybe I ordered on Monday and I got the it has to be because I want to order just silver I would order it in all four so this must be like the Monday for her thing if she does straight week every Monday you get a foiled freebie that is along the lines of what is on sale so this is the freebie in silver and then I did pick up three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I picked up nine of the 14 fun foils I'm pretty sure she has 14 fun foils and not just the or I don't know but I picked up nine colors here obviously if you've been watching my hauls you know that I'm picking up like I picked up all the work and all the foil colors so now I'm picking up um payday and all the foil colors so we have pink this one is red no yeah red light blue dark blue hot pink gold hollow um, orange. This is the light green and then dark green. And that was everything from Planet Hannah. And now I'm going to get into the Crest Press Mystery. Um, I did. I don't think I went through it all. Maybe I did. Hmm, I don't remember seeing that. But I did look at the full boxes. Um, but here is the 15 millimeter. And then the January Mystery, it's a spring cleaning kit. And as much as I don't love like the idea of a spring clean cleaning kit, I love the colors in this kit. Like I love like this teal, this really dark teal color. And like the rusty orange. I'm obsessed with that color. Especially like that color next to that color. Oh, so good. This would actually be like a really good one to color block with. So like there's only one row of this blue. And then I'm not like huge on this. Um, but it's still cute. 
And then the girls, I'm not a super fan of the girls, but I love this little pantry box. I really wish I had a pantry like this. Um, but yeah, and Trulies on the bottom here, like those go in the fridge, guys. Sprite, Coke Zero, Diet Coke. I love those little details. Yeah, so that is the cat. And then the foil that came with it, I always do this upside down. Okay. It's now like curly because I took it out of its thing, but adjusting. I love like the fun light blue. I don't know if it's even picking up, but it's like a light blue hexagon foil. I love like these little bows. Oh, that's new. I love that. And then these scripts and stuff. And then the two sheets of bougie. So cute. Wish it wasn't curly though. That's kind of annoying. And now I'm going to get into the Pink Diamond Planner Company mystery. I did sign back up for this mystery. And this is actually a reformat. So, like, I don't know if going forward all her kits will be like this. But at least, like, the mystery kits will. Um, and this is kind of like a bed and breakfast vibes kit. But it also could be, like, I don't know. Just, like, an anytime at home kit. Because, I mean the Wi-Fi thing obviously not this has bed and breakfast but it's still really cute it's not too specific and then I did get this on glossy I used to get her kits on matte paper but I did switch to glossy on like pretty much every thing that offers that I won't be using these icons I do like the chunky glitter and then the extra boxes there. And then I think this is solid and I think there's a pattern page. Yeah. I like this bigger little thing and then like the little things too. I like the variety of that. And then this. Let me tell you, this is like a game changer. She is splitting the bottom washi now. Like, you can still use it as a solid bottom washi. But the fact that it comes split is like... Mind blown. Um, that's the extra box. And yeah, that's that for that page. And I love that there's a guy included. But the bottom 15 millimeter thing and then just extra fashion girls I also love Darcy's art so that's pretty much why I signed back up and this extra color here I like that it's glitter headers um don't love the big box here but yeah and I love the scene So that was the kit from Pink Diamond Planner Company and then it did come with like this um, matte freebie, like the matte foiled freebie. I'm pretty sure that this is manufactured and then this here is manufactured as well. Um, she did, however, I watched her release video and she said that the backing won't be this thick next time. So I actually kind of like it thick because it lays flat because it is manufactured now but it is a silver like star twinkle format and then there's like the stars and date numbers um the stars the bottom washi overlays and then like the header overlays the scripts um I think these are slightly smaller too than when I used to get her things like this little tiny therapy it's very cute um love that she includes that too 
but won't be using the icons unless I'm like layering them. And then the two sheets of bougie boxes. That is the Pink Diamond Planner Company mystery for January. All right, so next I have an order from Fantasy Wax Melts. Um, it's from the Lush Volume 2 collection that they did. So this was the sample, just red velvet cake. It's really heavy on cream cheese. Like, that's literally what I smell when I smell it. Also, I'm sorry if I sound weird. I literally today tested positive for COVID. So, fun times. Um, This one's dirty, which is mint, moss, and oak. It's a very masculine smell scent. Um, we have Rose Sham, which is soft floral rose petals and vanilla. Definitely reminds me of like a perfume. Um, Karma, which is one of my favorite scents. Um, I don't think that they put it in here, but there is patchouli in it. Lemongrass, orange, and pine. I feel like I tend to leave out patchouli in a lot of scents. This one I probably would not have left it out because it's very strong to me. Um, but like Yankee Candle type Midsummer's Night has patchouli in it and I left that out because you can't smell the patchouli. Um, and then lastly, Honey I Wash the Kids, which is creamy honey, citrus, and vanilla musk. Reminds me of like an oatmeal bath, but it smells really good. So, love all that. Thank God I can still smell. Alright, next I have an order from Not A Planner Shop. Um, But it is a shop that a planner girl opened. So, it's called uh, Shop Sadie Joy. One, love this. Even my box had like my name written on the side just like her packaging was fantastic so that was like the card that came in it it came with this cup care instructions and this is like a really thick card so i hand wash my i don't hand wash it my husband hand washes our dishes so and then this little sticker freebie which i did not open and then this is just like a really soft like vinyl die cut. Very cute. And then the cup. So I did get the pink straw. It's glass. And it's the curved one. And then I got the top. The bamboo lid. Oh. I got to break it. And then the cup which is just the Virgo like astrology sign I remember she used Virgo as like a uh, picture for the astrology ones that she came out with and I was like I'm buying that as soon as it comes out so I didn't actually get it as soon as it came out because she lives on the west coast and I was going to bed but I got it in the morning so that was from Shop City Joy. I will have that link down below. You guys should check her out. So cute. Next up, I have an order from McPlans. Um, so this is the order. And then it came with a little oops bag. So. so here's this one. It just looks like it was probably running out of darker ink. Maybe. Um, because this red is very vibrant, but that's just like a freebie. Oops. And then there's these little sheets. This is like a little mojito, which is really cute. Amazon boxes. Um, this girl in the bathtub. I'll probably give these to my daughter because they look like her. 
Oh, little pig, Megan, like eating popcorn at the TV, which is very cute. I love pigs. Love her shop because of all the pigs. And then. Alright. So, my order and freebie. So, this was the freebie. And then the $15 plus freebie. Which is so cute. I love this little bowling. I got little cutting machines because you can never have too many, even though I just lost one. I got the pig family of five because I am a family of five. And then I got the pig and the mom, or the pig mom and daughter, the pig mom and son. Um, diamond painting, because I'm obsessed. And then the couple TV screen. One. So, super cute. Her paper is very soft. And yeah, that was my order for McPlans. Next, I have an order from Caress Press. So, I'm just going to start with like this thing. I'm not going to open this. This is 10 sheets of bougie boxes in the rose gold. Rose gold. It's pink. Um, color. I got these because I bought a bunch of pink mini kits. Like mini foil kits. And I don't like to use anything but this pink with like the underlays so i got these to supplement those if that makes sense all right and then i got this you know 15 millimeter for next week spread that i have to lay down today so this is for the lunar new year i forgot the 15 millimeter and i just decided to grab some stuff and grab that so Got that just in time. I, I'll go backwards or forward, whatever. And so I decided that I wanted to play with more stickers. So I was going to do a, or I'm going to do monthlies. It's not something I'm going to really like share or film or anything. But I... Is this maybe it goes on like the bottom or something I don't know but I decided that I'm gonna start using monthly is just use up more stickers um I again am confused like I forget what these little washi strips are for and then these are like big boxes these date numbers I don't know there's only two payday oh okay no that makes sense and then I'm pretty sure, like Grammy's Martin Luther King Jr. Day and New Year's Day, I love that those come on this one. And if I can help it, I'm going to use art that I'm not using during the month. So, like, I didn't buy this art for New Year's. And I got the decorative sidebar on the side. I... Maybe this was, like, the darkest hair color because I probably would have got the girl with the dark, like black if there was one but yeah so that one was for January and then I have February this one looks like it was maybe just bent to test I don't know but February is the XOXO art um I'm not using this in February so you know this was like way overcut. This was like popping out. Um, but again, like Lunar New Year, Valentine's Day, President's Day, Black History Month, like I love that they're on here. And I don't know why January had my birthday, but like the other ones don't. Lastly, I have the March kit. I don't plan on using St. Patrick's Day art because it does fall on my husband's birthday week so this is the closest to St. Patrick's I'm gonna get. This is the sidebar, this extra 
page thing here. Let's see Lucky Vibes, by the way. And then this one, see this one says my birthday too. Maybe it's only if there's like an extra box. March Equinox. Is that like spring? That's weird that they called it March and not spring. Daylight Savings, St. Patrick's Day, all that good stuff. So, very excited to play with more stickers. And yeah, that was everything from Caress Press. All right, next I have um, the Valentine's Day scents from Fusey Wax. And it's going to be really fun editing this whole haul because I've been hauling stuff for over a month. And I have no idea because I've done it in such big clips. I have no idea why I said in the last clip. So I know I have another Fantasy Wax part. So whatever. This one is from the Valentine's Day collection. Um, this was the sample, which is Mexican fried ice cream. I broke mine, apparently. There's like a little chunk in there. To me, it smells like creamy cotton candy. Like um, that cotton candy flavored ice cream. Like the red and the blue. The pink and the blue, I mean. Um, that's what that smells like. It doesn't smell bad. And then I'm going to go in with this purple one, which is Rachel Ross. Um, I don't know how to say that. YSL Black Opium Type. There's like one little glitter here. It's, uh, like perfume. It's not horrible. It's not my favorite scent ever, but it's still not bad. And then we have Bella and Edward. This one, um, I did, well, my husband pushed it off my desk, trying to turn off my wax warmer oh, last night, so that's why that looks like that, but black cherry, strawberry, violet, and vanilla bean. This reminds me of like a fizzy scent, like some sort of soda. Um, I think it might just be the cherry, but not 100% sure. It's just very fruity to me. Um, we have Monica and Chandler, which is Dolce & Gabbana, light blue for men type. Has little teddy bears. This is like the most feminine, masculine scent I've ever smelled. Um, I probably would not buy this, like, cologne for a man. But, then we have Jeff and Nick, which is from New Girl, apparently. I haven't watched that enough. Raspberry Roses and Amber Musk. It definitely smells like the raspberry. It doesn't smell very floral. Um, this reminds me of like Serendipity, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's Serendipity because Blonde Moment smells like Juicy Fruit. My nails are disgusting. And then lastly, we have Pam and Jim from The Office. This is chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> this little guy popped out. It's not bad. Um, I do believe that this was a repeat scent from last year, but still really good. So that was everything from Fantasy. All right, next I have um, some D stash buys. Um, from a girl on Instagram, Amber Planza, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Amber Planza, she was getting rid of some kits on her story. So these are two from Pink Thumb and Planner Company and they're the Epic July Mystery and June Mystery. Um, from 2021, I'm pretty sure. So, these are glossy kits. Epic size, obviously. They're very summer. I just, I really like the colors. Um. Flip through. I know that she's reformatted since then. And she did say, like, her little things were tiny. And they are so tiny. 
I like this bottom washi. It's a hole. And then the extra. Oh my god, Dirty Dancing. I love that. Oh, they're in the back here too. Oh. Anyway, I'm really excited about this box. And then these are like little characters that came with it. And then the extra boxes. Which these are... These are matte, so that's weird, but I do love this cocktail bar. Yeah, they're glossy and dirty dancing, so very cute. Um, to be honest, I was eyeing this one on the website when she brought back the mystery things and I just didn't grab it. Um pretty glad I didn't because I got like a good deal on these I would say so this is the like carnival themed one I never go to the fair I never go to carnival so I don't know why I needed it but I love the aesthetic of it um I think this one might be an older format maybe not not 100% sure. I don't use too many um, Pink Diamond Planner Company kits. I do, however, I am subscribed to her again. Um, love that these are like couples. And then the bottom washi, 15 millimeter. But I do love Darcy art. So it was nice to get these. I'm starting by pink diamond stuff more all right and then next up i'm going to get into the sbc mystery for february um i'm just doing these in no particular order than how they are stacked like there's stuff that i got way before this so i'm just going in order um but this is the february mystery if you haven't seen it already i don't know why not but here it is um so it's very like fashion heavy. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I it's very cute, and I love the colors, which might like I'm just gonna keep it because selling stuff is just wild. It's very hard to do. Um, for me anyway, I don't know. People sell stuff like nothing, but anyway. I do like the colors, um, just not my style, I guess. Uh, but I'll keep it because I have two planners, so why not? I love this pattern. I love all these patterns, they're really good. And this pattern too, I love that. This is a cute box. It's very like rainy day too, it's not only fashion. It looks kind of like rainy day shopping. Um, but again, I'm not into like luxury brands. So, that was the kit, and then I was actually surprised that she paired it with, like, her rose format, because for me, I think I would go with, like, matte bronze, and I do have a matte bronze um, foil bundle from one of her other kits that I can't sell, so I might just put that with this if I use it before I use the matte bronze thing. I'm just rambling at this point. Shut up. Anyway, it comes with the two overlays with the header overlays on the side, two bougie box underlays, these scripts and icons, and then the bottom washi overlay, fancy, date numbers, deco. And I think this is the first, like, rose, like, plain format I've gotten from SBC, so that's pretty cool. Okay, and then I have an order from Scroll Prince Co. that I actually, like, picked out and ordered and stuff. Not the mystery. Um, it came with this freebie. And then this is, like, the freebie pack. Um, that card. And then here, I always get redheads. I don't need redheads, but here's fam one. I'm going to assume, obviously, this is, like, cut all the way through. Um for like the Toy Story birthday kit. So that's just gonna go the stash. We have a washi card 
and the bow seal vinyl. Some hollow overlay things, some rose gold will you be my valentine. Don't try to swindle me because I like cake. I don't know what this is from. This looks very small too. Maybe it's just because it's skinny. This is Little Miss Alley Prince by Scrubber Prince Co. I don't know what that means, but then we have the overlay thing. And then the Scorpions Co. like wiggle it Wednesday and release thing. So there is all of that. And then into my order, um, I picked up the Level Up kit, which is obviously like the Minecraft, Fortnite, Among Us, Mario. It's like the gaming kit for kids. Well, kids. <laughs> Animal Crossing, this little cake pop. Oh, that's cake. I was like, what kind of Pop-Tart is that? <laughs> um, Animal Crossing on TV, that's so cute. These little things, but um, I love this marble, like, 15 millimeter. I picked up Fam 3 because besides this girl, this is pretty much what my family looks like. Just kidding. My twins have light brown hair. Um, and my husband has gray in his hair, but this was the closest to what they look like. And then the Level Up freebie double box. So cute. I don't know whose birthday I'm going to use this for. It's either going to be my oldest or my twins, but they're all in July, so it's going to be used in July. love the colors I love these patterns they're so fun another fun pattern on the bottom I will be using this in July not sure which week in July but one of my kids birthdays and then the last stuff that I have to haul <clears throat> for the month of January. I forgot what month I was hauling for. Um, I actually got this really early in January, mid-January, early to mid-January um, from Maria, who is LDW underscore plans on YouTube and Instagram. Go give her a follow and subscribe because she's amazing. She sent this little, um, she sent, like, a whole care package. I'm only going to show, like, the sticker slash whatever part, like, the easier parts to show. She did send makeup, and she got me a Rose Apothecary t-shirt, which is so cute. Um, I don't remember what else was in there. Oh, some jewelry, like... It was like this whole little care package and I'm just going to show the stickers. So, well, and the pen, um, because this little, I don't know what to call him, but this little Gengar is so cute. Baby Gengar, maybe? Okay. I'm going to call him Baby Gengar. So cute. Um, I'm probably just going to honestly pop this into my wall. I have Pikachu and Sylveon on my wall already, so I'm just going to pop him in there like a tack. And then the stickers. She made these. Love. This is like a... It's not... It's like a burnt orange. If I had to say it was a foil color, it'd be um, Bonfire Nights, but it's like hollow. And then this too is like a pink hollow vinyl that she made she needs to like open a shop with that and then some ravenclaw um i don't know teeny i think they're called from glam planner i am a ravenclaw with some ravenclaw overlays which are really cute and then 
I've never actually used OK Plans, but I love the aesthetic of this whole thing. And then also the, oh, I didn't even notice that was a thing, Hannah. So that's cute. Um, but this is like the dark side underlace from Planet Hannah. And then she sent this kit, which is Fangirl. I don't think that she's really a friend, a fan of Star Wars. Um, I like my coffee. Like I like my men a little on the dark side. I personally love Darth Vader, but obviously Kylo is the dark side. Love him. But I used this art in like the dark one, like the black and the red last year. Um, and she sent me this, which is so cute. I love this bottom washi. Absolutely love. Thank you, Maria. You are the best. Alright, so I wasn't going to show this because it is my husband's wax shop. But I had absolutely no part in the making of the scent, so I will show it. Um, I mean, besides that Hannah's my friend. That's the only part I've had. Uh, this is the Plan of Hannah bundle. I did have a sticker sheet in here. It's no longer in here, so this was opened. <laughs> also, full disclosure, this was sitting on... I had a stack of toner had being operative I have moved it this was sitting on the top of it and my toner fell so there's like a big dent here it is softer wax um so it does look a little smudgy but that also it really doesn't um mean anything it smells better because it's softer it's all this wax talk I don't understand I literally don't know anything about wax besides the fact my husband makes it and he's done the research so, I think I'm going to go from least favorite to favorite. So, my least favorite would be Flying Flapjacks. This is named for her dad. Um, and maple pancakes and zucchini bread with a little bit of bacon. Um, how it's listed when she did it. She did maple pancakes, bacon, and zucchini bread. But all the percentages were different. So, like, bacon has, like not a lot of bacon in it um this obviously is no longer available it was a pre-order that has now all actually been sent so everybody should be getting theirs if they have not within the next couple of days um anyway flying flapjacks maple pancakes bacon and zucchini bread Just smelling it now it's very zucchini bread heavy um it's not my favorite because of the maple pancakes i'm not a fan of maple so that's good and then i think the next would be chris which is peppermint swirl and birthday cake again it's just not my favorite because i'm not like a giant fan of peppermint it's not bad though I would melt it because Joe likes peppermint, so. And then. Mm, I think these two are like tied for next because they're both really good. So I'm going to go with Sis. This is obviously after her sister. Chris is her fiance. I don't know if I said that, but. Coffee bean, orange chiffon cake, and sugar cookie. It's very heavy coffee and then like a little bakery with a little orange, which isn't bad. Um, and then we have Plana Hanna, which is zucchini bread, strawberry, and birthday cake. It's very heavy on the strawberry, which is not my favorite, but it still smells really good. Um, obviously, if you know Hannah, you know, make up her mind from Birdie's is like her scent and she's always trying to recreate it. So she's had us do it. She's done this. Like, literally make up your mind. It's now called Hannah's Baby. So. And then these two are my favorite. 
I'm gonna go with like the Yankee Candle, Midsummer's Night first. It's just very clean and masculine. Absolutely love. I know her only request for this melt was that the wax be black. So that's why that's black. And then Auntie Hands, which is a play on Auntie Anne's. Um, obviously it's pretzel, fresh bread, and zucchini bread. It's so good. It smells like salty pretzels and it's delicious. So that was my Black Magic Melts Plan Hannah bundle. Um I don't ever typically um, share his wax because I usually just grab it. <laughs> like, I'll take it from inventory if I want to melt it type thing. Um, but the collections, I do always keep one of. So I might start doing that. Let me know below if you want to see, like, me haul his wax. I... I want to say I'm biased, but also it is really good, so I'm not going to pretend like it's not. So, anyway, that is everything for this haul. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!